Wayne Tinkle. Wayne Tinkle's Oregon State Beavers defeated Colorado 70-68 to win the Pac-12 Tournament Championship and advance to Wayne's second NCAA tournament as head coach of the Beavers. Wayne, an opening statement. Uh, just super proud of our guys. Um, just, you know, not, not just for this week or tonight, um, but the last six weeks or so, we've really, we've really put some, some special things together. And it's credit to our guys buying, guys putting their ego aside, buying into team, playing harder than our opponent, executing our stuff and enjoying each other out there. And the whole motto this week was to continue with those three things. And, and, and then even tonight, we wrote the same things on the board and we said, just because it's Saturday night championship game, we're not changing. Let's, let's continue to be who we are. And um, I just couldn't be more, more thrilled for our team, for, uh, for our families. Uh, I mentioned the families of our players last night after the game and, and uh, their buy-in sticking with us um, has been huge for us, a huge shot in the arm through these really tough times, my own family and all Beaver nation. Um, just uh Hell, hell of a deal right now. I'm sure it's going to hit me here in a little bit, but uh, I'll move on because I don't want to start getting sappy. Jesse, Fire away. first question. Wayne, after that one, uh, you had your arms around uh, Zach and Ethan there. Uh, what was that moment like just being able to get those seniors to the, the big dance? It was huge. It was huge. And just um, I, I remember exactly. I know I thanked them for their commitment. Um, to leading the way for us um, on and off the court, you know, and uh, we talked about, I think everybody that we hugged, we talked about, this is why came to Oregon State. Um, even the young fellas, the Cali boys, this is why came to Oregon State because we knew if we got everybody uh, on the same page um, and bought in that we could do tremendous things because of the way we do our deal. Kerry? Can you hear me, Wayne? I can now. Okay. What you got for Maurice Calou tonight? Was that something that you saw coming at all? We certainly knew he had that potential. Um, you know, you look at what he's been through through his season, being a starter early on, you know, to then, you know, going to the bench and minutes going down. And, you know, he was proactive coming in. Coach, what can I do more? We stayed in communication, what we needed from him. You know, and, and listen, it's not easy, man, when you go somewhere because you you want to be a big part of it. Um, but to his credit, he never went south on us. Um, he continued to work to try to get better every day, especially on the defensive end. And we knew what he's capable of when when he's when he's into it. And right, man, he, he he's a difference maker. And when we were walking to the presser just now, uh, I gave him credit for for staying on page, staying positive, staying ready and on our biggest night. He stepped up and was huge for us because of his attitude and the positivity that he's kept throughout all this. Nick Dashel. Wayne, obviously this season you've had a lot of uh, you know twists and turns. Um, when, when do you remember the moment when you felt like something like this was possible? Uh, we were confident coming down here. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that we were confident with the, you know, our, our quarterfinal game. Um, and then the way we came back after being down 16, you know, that was kind of our season in a nutshell. Then um, we just, you know, we, we, we didn't make a huge deal about it. We just, we kept saying the same things. This is what leads to success for us. Um, and then last night's performance, um, you know, when, once you, you really can't think about it till you're in the game. Um, and after we won last night, um, we were very confident, very, very humble. You know, we kept our feet on the ground. Um, we all had workmanlike uh, uh, attitudes last night and this morning in preparation for a very, very tough and well-coached Colorado team. Um, we, got, we got a little excited at times, but that wasn't all bad. Uh, and, and the guys made it happen. And from the, from the jump, guys were kept yelling, we're going to get it done, we're going to get it done, we're going to get it done. Um, and, and out of each timeout, they responded. We got fired up in a few of them down the stretch. And, you know, we, we, we closed it out. We made it interesting, but we closed it out. Hey, Krupke. Wayne, obviously the buy-in you got from these guys is so huge. And in a year where you face so much, everybody has in life away from hoops. 
what's just the just the justification for sticking with it and just the the reward the just reward to earn a spot in the big dance man well you just said it um you know the reward for for going through everything that we have on and off the court with everything we've dealt with and and you're right it, you know it's so much more important than basketball what people are dealing with but we use basketball as a vehicle to learn some life lessons and and the thing about that is that's how we run our program. And it just so happened that this last year dealing with COVID and, and a lot of the other social uh, justice issues by staying together, by opening up lines of communication, by continuing to love and support and, and learn how to trust each other. Uh, we, we got through it and, and we, we've got guys from, you know, outside the United States, guys from all over different parts uh, of our country, uh, different backgrounds. And we always talk about it let's embrace each other's differences, not alienate one another because of them. And, uh, you know, in a, in a sports world, it led to winning a championship. And, you know, that's what's great about athletics. Uh, I think society can learn from the lessons that we all go through. And, and hopefully, uh, I know the, the, the messages I've been getting, the shot in the arm that this has been for a lot of people that have been suffering, watching the Beavers go on this run, provided some incredible, incredible, you know, call it therapy, uh, happiness, um, you, you name it. And, and that's what makes me so proud and so happy for the way we, we do what we do. And, and, and I'm so blessed to have an incredible staff um, in, in our team. We recruit character first, and that was on display this last week. And you know what, when you're patient, when you stay together, when you roll with the punches, Eventually, this is what it leads to, and we've proven that. Kate? Hey, Coach. You're rocking that net around your neck. When that final buzzer rang, what went through your head? I know you said it hasn't hit you yet, but what was going through your mind? I felt like I was in a wind tunnel, you know? Um, I mean, you know, I, I, haven't, I haven't gotten that many hugs since we had a family reunion, and it's been a long time. Um, it was unbelievable just moving from one to the next, trying to shout out to our family up in the stands. Um, it was it was pretty incredible. And uh, a lot of people deserve credit, um, you know, for, for what we're going through right now. The support's been unbelievable. And um, I, I just, again, it's, it's going to hit me later. Right, right now, I'm just, all I keep thinking about is how proud I am of this team. Um, and I, I got very, very emotional in my room by myself this afternoon, right after pregame meal, uh, thinking about how blessed I am. You know, I, I'm. People talk about uh, superstitions and this and that, and and you know they moved our bench on us tonight, and you know I, I've I've really become um, a lot stronger with my faith. And when you have strong faith, uh, you don't have to worry about superstitions. And I'm so blessed with the family I have the support that I've had through the tough times, the people that I'm blessed to have around me. Um, it's just incredible. I folded my hands, I raised them up. And, um, you know, I'm just, this has been the most emotional year in, in my life and, and probably for all of us. Um, and it's just incredible that uh, we've gotten to this level and, and, and we know why we have, but it's a uh, it's pretty neat deal. Um, but we're, we're gonna keep this thing rolling. Orange Express is back, baby, go Beefs.